Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Outdoor Vitals Summit Zero Degree Fahrenheit Down Sleeping Bag. I got it in black and the regular size, and this is a review unit sent by Outdoor Vitals, but of course I'm free to say whatever I want about it, so this is just a review based on my experience. And if you want to cut to the chase, this is a very warm, light, and affordable sleeping bag, and for me, it's by far and away the best sleeping bag I've ever used, and I would recommend it to anyone. But as far as details, First off, it comes with a compression sack. It came packed in the compression sack for us. This configuration would run $185 on the Outdoor Vitals website. So before I was doing this review, I was thinking, what do you actually need to know from a sleeping bag review? First would obviously be warmth. Does it keep you warm at night? So I've used this on four separate trips. Unfortunately, none of them were in the winter. One of them was around 60 degrees at night. Two of them were like probably in the 70s or 80s at night. It was really hot. And then one was on Mount Whitney where it probably got down into the 40s at night. But fortunately, there was an extreme cold snap here and I was able to test it at minus seven degrees Fahrenheit. I wasn't able to test it in like the 10 degree range where you would more normally use this. But when I first went to sleep, it was around negative two. What's the current temperature? It's minus two degrees outside. I had an inflatable sleeping mat like I always use. There's a bunch of snow on the ground, but I'm using a sleeping mat, so hopefully that'll give me some insulation from it. For the first four hours or so that I went to sleep, I was doing just fine. It's actually remarkably warm inside this sleeping bag. I am impressed. It's my first time using a down sleeping bag in the cold. But then I got up at three in the morning. I checked what the temperature was. It was minus seven. It's 3.30ish in the morning. I just checked the temperature. It's minus seven. It was definitely still survivable, but at that temperature, comfort is kind of like out of the window and it's just making it through the night at that point. Now, if I were out camping, I could survive and go the rest of the night, but I just cannot convince my body to not go inside <laughs> where it's warm. And it's time to go in into my warm bed. But I felt like I had a good enough idea at that point that yes, this bag will keep you alive at negative seven. No, you will not be comfortable, but you will be alive. At zero degrees, I would imagine you'd be totally fine because when I first went to sleep, it was negative two and I actually felt warm. Also, I am somebody who gets really cold at night all the time. In fact, my previous bag was a six pound synthetic bag that was rated for 15 degrees. When I first got it, it had great insulation and it was really warm, but then just like every year it seemed to get colder and colder. Compared to that bag, this is just like a night and day difference. But after my experience at negative seven degrees, I feel confident that it's definitely a zero degree bag. In the summer, when I was using it in hotter temperatures, sometimes I would use it as a quilt instead of a mummy bag. And that was really good because it still kept you warm, but you could like move around really easily. So maybe that's something that you guys already do, but I had at least never thought of doing that before where you just leave it unzipped and then you put it on top of you. I will say though that in Germany, it was so hot and I was sleeping on top of the sleeping bag. And man, even me, I was sweating from sleeping on top of the bag. But the weather then was in the 80s or maybe even 90s and there was really high humidity. So you're probably not gonna be taking a zero degree sleeping bag on that anyway. But if you're somebody like me who just wants to get one bag for a year round, know that that might be a problem for you, especially if you get hot at night. It'll be great for the winter, but for summer, it's gonna be too hot on occasions, even sleeping on top of it. So weight and size is two pounds, 13 ounces for the bag, add another four ounces for the compression sack. So you're at a total of three pounds, one ounce. And for me, that's half the weight of my old synthetic bag. As far as I'm concerned, three pounds is really nice for zero degrees. Also the compression sack works quite well. It compresses it down to a nice manageable size. And my backpack is 90 liters, so I could fit anything in there, but you could take that into account for yourself. So as far as actually sleeping in the bag for my size, I'm six feet tall and I weigh 155 pounds. I have fairly broad shoulders, but nothing enormous. For me, it was plenty comfortable. I was able to move around. Bringing my knees up to my chest is just possible. It's like you kind of have to stretch it a little bit, but you can do it if you want to. And when I was sleeping outside in negative seven, I was definitely curled up into a ball. So in case there's times where you need to do that, you could do that. <laughs> uh, the build quality seems quite good for my usage. The material on the outside seems a little bit fragile, but I've not had any tears or rips or anything. And even when the fabric gets caught in the zipper, even though it kind of feels like you might break it, I've pulled it out many times and it's been fine. I should note here though, that they do have a lifetime warranty. I've obviously never had to use it because this hasn't broken, but knowing that you've got that lifetime warranty seems like a good 
uh, safety net if anything does break. As far as like down coming out of the bag, I've not had any problems with that. There's been times where like a couple of feathers comes out or like you can see one poking through, but nothing like that would be a cause for concern or think that it's just gonna be shedding constantly. Okay, and then so finally price, I think I mentioned it earlier, but this is $185. For me, warmth at night is the most important thing. When I was first considering switching from my synthetic bag, I was looking at the prices of down sleeping bags and a lot of them are just like in the four, five, six hundred dollar range. And I don't get sticker shock that often because I buy lots of camera stuff and if you wanna get sticker shock, that's what you should do. But four or five or six hundred dollars for a sleeping bag just seems a little bit excessive, especially when this one that performs really, really well, uses the same materials and is really warm, costs only a hundred eighty-five dollars. I feel like some of these bags have to be overpriced. But $185 for a really warm, really good sleeping bag that has a lifetime warranty, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Obviously your mileage is gonna vary on that, what your budget is. But for a down sleeping bag, this is one of the best prices I've seen. I feel like there's not too much left to say. It's built really well. It's lightweight. It's very warm. It looks nice. I like the black color. I like the gray lining too. It looks kind of cool. If you're somebody who gets hot you might not wanna go for the zero degree. I know they have a 20 degree bag, but I haven't tried that, so I don't know. But using a down bag for the first time, I couldn't believe how warm it was. It's just amazing how down is able to trap heat. But yeah, highly recommended Outdoor Vitals, zero degree summit, regular size sleeping bag, and the color black. That's what today's review was. Check it out, hopefully this review has been helpful. So thank you for watching. See you next time.